So welcome to Gangs of Kimura part two. In this video, we did the unboxing video in part one, and that'll be popping up in the next few seconds up in the top corner there. So if you haven't seen that, do go check it out. But this video is gonna be part two where we look at the models themselves. So looking at the sprues, gluing one of each together, so you can see how easy or difficult it is. And after I've done that, I will glue all 16, show you all 16 models, because there are slightly different Hellion configurations. And obviously I don't wanna gl glue them all together, you might get bored of that. So what I'll do is, I'll glue one of each, and then I'll do the rest off camera, and then I'll show you all 16. And that'll be my quick intro to all the models, basically, that you get in the box. Um, in part three, we'll be doing some rule stuff, so we'll look at more of the rules for Gangs of Kimura, and, and then hopefully I'll invite someone around and actually have a game of it. Um, but for now, let's take a look at the sprues. So after you've taken everything out of the packet, as you saw on the part one, and you get to the bottom with all your plastic, so I'll just take one sprue out and you can have a quick look at that on screen. On the sprue itself, on most of the sprues, you get jet bikes and skyboards, which are obviously the Hellion's form of transport. Skyboards there and the jet bike components, as you can see. You also get multiple heads, arms, and other part components for the actual unit itself. But there is quite a lot on each sprue. That's just one sprue out of many. I'll go get one of the bigger ones, just give me one second. And that's one of the really big sprues with even more on it. So you've got even more on that. Um, there's obviously three, four Hellions on that as well as a load of other gubbins. Arms, heads, there's a whip arm there which looks pretty cool, I don't know if you can see that. Pretty cool. So I'll now get the instructions that you saw in the previous unboxing. So I'll just go grab those and we'll then get on with putting these together. So these are the two instructions, like I was saying before, one for the Reavers, one for the Hellions. I'll put some paper down on the table just so I don't get any glue or anything on the table while I'm working. So I'll start with the Reavers. Let's bob that over there. I've already put one together just to give it a go. And it took me a few moments to do, but this, is, this will be my pack leader. Um, Helion to begin with, but I'll cut each bit out and just watch basically how they go together. So you start with the two jet bike pieces. That's the two halves. And I always pop them together like that to see how they go together. Make sure there's no major disasters for me chopping them through the sprue. Bit of glue. The next step is to actually put the handlebars on it. So that's the actual body. I'll now get the handlebars to go in here. As I found with the first one of these, it is just virtually a push fit. But you'd be very careful to do it because I was, you've got to give it some force, but you can actually push foot it, fit it in, which is what I did. Now you don't need any glue for that, they're very not going to come out and you actually put something over the top. So, but do be careful you do push to fit them because once it's in, it isn't coming out. So make sure you do it right. Then you move on to the undercarriage, which is actually this part, now I thought this was a Hellion part, but it turns out the Hellions have all their own sprues, which we'll see in a moment. The next part is this bit. And this again is another, another push fit situation. So what you gotta do, the camera will focus, that's it. Take this part and literally push it up into the bottom of the model. There is a little spot, you might not be able to see it on here, but there's a tiny spot in between those two gaps and you literally push the model together. Got to give it some welly as well. Once it's in, you'll find that you don't need to actually add any glue, it's actually quite solid. I mean, you can add glue if you want. I've not bothered on the previous one and it seems to be holding quite well. Uh, that's what you need, should be looking at near stage two. The next thing to actually glue on is a grill that goes in here. So let's find that. So 
So with this you will need a touch of glue on that bit there. Remember to wipe away any excess. I'm quite heavy handed with glue. So it's worth wiping. This is why I end up gluing my fingers together because there's always loads of excess. They end up wiping off. But that's, that's what the grill should look like at the bottom, just under there. And that's what stage you should be at at this point. So the next section we're on to is putting the front on and a couple of extra spikes and whatnot for them. So we're going to go with this one here. This one here, so I'll just chop it out. Also, we'll be putting the engine back in and also a few extra spikes which go on on this one. So that's after the next section. So that's the next section. I've not bothered with the little spikes on the underneath, mainly because it's really, really hard to do. Um, but that's what it looks like after that bit. Then we add the top, the top tail, and the guns, and the little thing on the actual front there. So I'll just cut those out and pop them on as well. So we've got the three components here. First thing, I'll bob on a little bit of glue there. And then that'll just push into the top of there like that. So that'll push into the top of there to give you that really cool back fin. Then we got bob a little bit of glue here. Then finally, a little bit of glue on the bottom here. To bob the gun on too. And that is the finished result. And that's what one of the bikes is like, finished. Obviously you've got a gun on the underneath. Side there. I've still got to put a gun on the back of this one, so I'll do that off camera. So we're now going to get into the rider part of it. The rider comes in several parts. Two legs are separate, heads are separate. So they're a bit of a nightmare to be fair. But we will give it a go. So let's get all the body parts out first. So I'll see you in a minute. Right, so they're tiny. The pieces are tiny for it. So I'll glue this together and on a speed up. So I won't say anything and you can just have a look. Okay, so here we have a finished Reaver. Well, it's gone and bits and done. This will actually be my Reaver boss. Notice he's got a slightly different tailpiece. It's the one I actually put together. This was the bike I first put together off camera just to learn how to do it. So I'll now move on to the Hellions and do you a quick put together of those. On the Hellions, mo all the bikes are the same. So the bikes are going to be easier this time than the jet bikes from the... Uh, 
from the Reavers. The big difference between the Reavers and the Hellions is every single one, you can have several different poses. There's actually, I think, three or four different poses you can have, and you get 10 of them, so you can really mess with it. One thing I didn't mention in the Reavers part is there's many different heads, many different bits and pieces with it, which I think is brilliant. So let's move on to the Hellion building part of this video. So let's grab a Hellion sprue. Obviously, they're a lot bigger, which is why I changed the camera angle. Um, and first off, for the first section, you basically need most parts of it. So we're looking at that part, that part, so the engine parts, one of the engine sprue bits, and then what looks like a couple of other pieces which I can't identify right now. So I'll get on with that now. So I've got all the pieces out, I'm just gluing it together. First bit is bottom to top, which is quite easy. A little bit of glue just there and in there, I think. Just hold that together. These do actually push together because I've tried, um, but I've, I've decided I'm gonna put a bit of glue on them just to give them a bit of hold. And that's most of the Hellion itself put together. Um, there's not much to them, to be fair, the actual bikes. Um, there's only one difference, which is there is two little rockets which I need to put on this one, which is for the Hellion's main boss sort of guy. But that's all there is to it. So I'll now just put those on and then I'll clip all the bits for one of the Hellions and then I'll put that together for you. Back in a second. So now I've got the Hellion's base and uh, skyboard complete. I'm now going to cutting out all the other parts for the Hellion. So I'll get my sprue. On here you've got so many different variants for Hellions. So you've got different arm types, different legs, heads, all sorts of bits and pieces. So I'm gonna do a little bit of research in the book and use the book and decide which one to put together first. I think I'll probably go the guy with the grappling hook. I've just gotta work out which bits are his. So I'll cut all those out and I'll then bob that together. Right, so we're back. I finally managed to cut all the bits out that I needed because I probably went for the hardest one because this little claw that I've got in my hand goes with this tiny little bit. I don't know if you can see that. So those little two bits go together. And then of course you've got, this is more like a Malifaux kit than I've ever seen Games Workshop do, to be honest, because that's the body parts there. So that's all the other body bits. So I'll put all this together and Bob him stood up on the skyboard for you. So when you come back, I should have all that together and him on the skyboard. See you in a few seconds. So here's the finished Hellion. That's the rider and his skyboard. 
I can just move him around. I'll see if I can get a better angle. That's him. I've put, I've given him like a grappling hook. He's got a pistol there. There's a couple of different ones which I'll show you at the end. There's a couple of accessories you can add to them too. So I'll do that as well. I would stick this to this, but I'm not going to at the moment because of course for painting purposes, I want to keep them separately. So that's the Hellion. And as you've seen the Reva before, hope you've enjoyed this gluing together. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll now glue the rest of the teams together and then I'll do a little show of all 16 models. So here they are, the Gangs of Kimura models. So you saw that it's taken me about 15 minutes to put two of them together. It took me a lot longer to put them all together, but the easiest were actually the Reavers. They were quite simple, the bodies themselves and things like that. But as you saw when I put one of the Hellions together, they're not the easiest thing to put together. Plus to make them look quite dynamic on the, on the actual skyboard, you really have to think about where you're gluing the arms. I mean, some of mine have come out really well, others I'm not so pleased about, but you can't win them all. But these are the 10 Hellions. You can use these for a Dark Eldar army if you wanted, like I've said, which I'm really considering because it's not much money to actually get the other two parts of, of the army to actually turn it into a, a detachment of some kind. And right about now, my subscribe button should be appearing in the top right hand corner. So if you like what you see and hit the subscribe button or just hit the like button on this video. On the bottom right will be the Gangs of Kimura unboxing video that I've did before. Um, on the left will be last week's video. I'm on Facebook and Twitter. So if you want to find out what I'm up to or ask me any questions, either pop some in the comments below or hit me up on those other two platforms. And I'll see you next time.